Welcome, one and all, down here, up there, all around the world. Welcome to the Late Show. I fan of me too. <laughs> I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. It's an exciting day here in New York City. <laughs> Because it was the first day of all in-person school. For the first time, for the first time in 18 months, kids can enjoy class without seeing their friends' dads wandering behind them in boxers. <laughs> if they're lucky. <laughs> of course, there are always some hiccups on the first day. The online health screenings that families are required to fill out each morning had crashed by about 8 a.m. <laughs> so some educators were forced to complete their own screenings of how each child was feeling that morning. <laughs> okay, class, so I've read your, uh, your health forms. Uh, I see that many of you are suffering from butt fever, <laughs> butt ache, and shortness of butt. Okay. <laughs> uh, put a mask over your butt and come on in. <laughs> of course, kids aren't the only ones vulnerable to COVID, which is why last week, President Biden issued a plan to require all private sector businesses with more than 100 employees to mandate vaccines or weekly testing. That's great, okay? You want that security. You want that sense of security. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You gotta feel when safe. You, go, you gotta be safe. When you go into a Starbucks, you should feel safe <laughs> until you see the bathroom. Are those... Are those teeth? Of course, these safety measures enrage the lunatic fringe of anti-vaxxers, otherwise known as Republican governors. <laughs> Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves declared, this is America and we still believe in freedom from tyrants. Mm. Yes, refusing medical treatment is part of a proud American tradition. Who could forget the immortal words of Patrick Henry, give me rubella and give me death because I want to die from rubella. <laughs> Some governors... Got that? Thanks. Some governors have even threatened to sue the Biden administration over vaccines, and on Friday, the president responded. You are calling your vaccine requirements an overreach. You are threatening to challenge it in court. Have at it. Come at me, bro, Seth. Come on. Come on, step up. You want a little piece? You want a taste? You want a taste? You want a scoop of this? I went to Scranton School bus stop tussling. <laughs> Once gave a man a little elbow music for looking cross-eyed at my Buster Browns. You got a problem with that mandate? You can stop by and meet my pals, Empathy and Public Service. <laughs> Come on, Jackson. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. It's not just school coming back from COVID, because America's also seeing the sweaty, sticky, triumphant return of sex parties. <laughs> Really? Really? I've said this before. I just don't buy that sex parties are actually a thing. I'm in show business, supposedly the height of decadence, and I've never once been asked to a sex party. <laughs> no matter how many times I come on TV and say that they don't exist. I've never been invited or uninvited or not invited to a sex party. No one's ever said, hey, Steve, missed you at the sex party last night. <laughs> Too bad. You seem like the kind of person who'd be really great to have at a sex party, a real sex asset to the party. <laughs> Where's my invitation? Are they in my junk email folder? <laughs> For which I mean the email folder. <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. I'm mad! I'm angry! <laughs> By which I mean the folder where I keep my junk's email. It's <laughs> lilsteve at colbert.org. <laughs> That's right. That's right. My penis is a nonprofit. <laughs> now, Wench, stop. What's wrong with you? What's wrong? Evie's not gonna like that joke. Now, when COVID first hit, some people moved their sex parties to Zoom. But obviously, that could be awkward. One woman told researchers, I was with my parents, so it was hard to hide in the room and host a Zoom sex party. <laughs> Han, your mom and I are going to order from uh, P.F. Chang's. Do you want lettuce wraps? Order the lettuce wraps. She keeps screaming, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Get the menu. She says she's coming. <laughs> she's not... That's all. What? 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 I don't understand. I don't... Okay. Researchers, 
We're all adults. Researchers, one of us just turned 18, in fact. <laughs> The young man in the front row asked me if I could talk to my 18-year-old self, what advice would I give my 18-year-old self? And that advice would be, there is no such thing as sex parties. <laughs> they don't, they don't. Have you ever, have you ever been invited? <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> have you ever been invited to a sex party? I apologize. I should not have asked you that question. <laughs> Mom, have you ever been invited to a sex party? <laughs> where, where were we? <laughs> Researchers also found that during the lockdown, one in five participants claimed to be experimenting more. People got so experimental that a whopping 2% of Americans claimed to have had their first threesome during the pandemic. And you know that if people claim they had a threesome, they definitely had a threesome. <laughs> uh, what have I been doing uh, in quarantine? Oh, definitely had a threesome while I ran a marathon while writing my screenplay in Italian that I totally learned. <laughs> Gotta go. Beyonce's inviting me to the sex pit. <laughs> now... Speaking of crazy ass piles, <laughs> tomorrow California is deciding whether to recall Democratic governor and Westworld's top used car salesman, Gavin Newsom. <laughs> Forty-six candidates are running against the current governor, including businessman and candidate whiter than his background, <laughs> John Cox. Cox has been trying to make himself out to be a tough guy based on who he's campaigning with. The blitz began in the state's capital with a 1,000-plus pound burly brown bear by his side. All that tells me is that John Cox is so bland, even a bear won't eat him. <laughs> Another... <laughs> has... By show of applause, has anyone been invited to a sex party? <laughs> You've been invited to a sex party. Did you RSVP? Did you go? Yeah. And was it good? Fantastic. <laughs> Can you get me on a list or something? <laughs> I don't believe her. Do you, I don't believe her at all. I don't believe you for a minute. I don't believe you for a second. Um. Another governor wannabe is Billboard model Angeline, who released this compelling video. I'm running for governor of California. It's just me and the dog. Can you please vote for us? We promise we'll be really good. The dog only eats a little bit, and I eat pizza. I'll vote for you. <laughs> just let the dog go. <laughs> Sex party. Definitely sex party. There's also Patrick Kilpatrick, an actor, screenwriter, and producer. You might recognize him from such films as Under Siege 2, Free Willy 3, Angel 4, or the TV show Babylon 5. And if you add all those numbers up, it's more than the votes Patrick Kilpatrick will get. But it's beginning to look like none of these people will be the next governor. Because according to the latest polls, over 60% of likely voters oppose recalling Gavin Newsom. The other... The other 40% said, I am running for governor. <laughs> so, with Newsom likely to be victorious, the GOP has taken the high road by priming their voters to believe the California recall 
was stolen. No, no, not again. We know this leads to a terrible place, Sacramento. <laughs> now, in, in music videos, uh, there were the VMAs last night, and the biggest showstopper of the night was a performance by Lil Nas X, who did a steamy medley of his songs, Industry Baby and Montero. Look, I'm not a prude. I'm not a prude, but I find that really upsetting. Yet another star-studded sex party, and I was not invited. <laughs> Guys, I have my own bedazzled shorts and my own baby oil. So, Lil Nas, call me when you want. Call me when you need. Call me in the morning. I'll be on the way. We got a great show for you tonight. My guests are Jeff Daniels and CBS Morning's Nate Burleson. But when we come back, Rudy Giuliani was given alcohol near a microphone. <laughs>